The debut of vegan cheese didn't inspire confidence. That was weird. Mm. The mouthfeel is like a Play-Doh-y yeah. mouthfeel. But in the years since, vegan cheese has gone from this. Oh yeah, it really tastes like cheese. No, it doesn't. To a grocery store staple. I wouldn't know this wasn't cheese. I'm pretty impressed. But vegan cheese, despite innovations in tastes and creativity in recipes, still has a problem. There is no great plant-based cheese that will melt, stretch, that will bubble, that will brown. So what's the science behind why vegan cheese doesn't act like we expect? The problem is this tiny protein, casein. Wired talked to two cheese researchers to explain the science behind vegan cheese. It's not found anywhere else in the natural world, only in the milk of mammals. So what that really means is that mimicking casein or replacing casein with a plant-based protein or some other plant-based ingredient is extremely, extremely challenging or nearly impossible. A lot has changed since these videos were made. Improvements to plant-based fermentation, the use of new bacterial cultures and cheese aging techniques have created new varieties of vegan cheeses that smell, taste, and look better than previous versions. But a vegan cheese that acts and melts like the cheeses we know and love remains elusive. What makes casein really special and very, very unique is that it is an unusual type of protein. Each protein molecule by itself has this undefined structure. If you were able to go to a, a really fancy microscope, you would be able to see these casein balls. But within that ball, we have no clue how these caseins like behave or aggregate or what their actual shape or form is. And that is what's really unusual about them compared to any other protein. These cheese variants that are more like cheese spreads or cream cheese or things that are eaten like on a cracker and they don't need to melt or stretch. It's been somewhat easier to recreate those. And that's why plant-based cheeses have actually had better success. The vegan cheeses on the market run into this problem. We melted eight different cheeses, and while some did bubble, and some even oozed when folded, they didn't melt like an animal-based cheese did. So what's the next frontier in vegan cheese science? Two startups are tackling the problem in different ways. First up, using a fungal strain to create casein. The Belgium-based Those Vegan Cowboys started a bounty hunt, a worldwide call for a fungal strain that feeds on grass and makes casein without the cow. There is a bounty of 2.5 million euros. Ultimately, we would like to produce the caseins in the best and the most efficient way. When you then compare bacteria um, with fungal systems, uh, we know from experience that fungal systems can more efficiently produce heterologous proteins and can also reach higher concentrations. Second up, using microbes to create casein. The startup new culture in San Francisco is focusing on making a melty, stretchy mozzarella using precise fermentation. Fermentation is a process where we would grow a microbe or a group of microbes. And in that process, they would be eating food that we're giving to them, which is sugar in a precision fermentation. What is different is that instead of microbe being fed on sugar and producing like a lot of different molecules, we are instructing microbe and making it focused to produce predominantly one ingredient, the casein protein. It's a very like empirical and an experimentative process where we did go through thousands of microbes by now, thousands of variants. Their vegan mozzarella isn't on the market yet, but it promises it will have the same melt and stretch as cow's milk mozzarella. We basically follow the, the standard, the traditional cheese making processes that have been around for thousands of years. And then we adapt them to the way our casein exactly behaves with other plant-based ingredients we use. There is an enzyme called rennet. And historically, it was actually extracted from animals. You add it to the milk and this enzyme will basically gonna force the casein to coagulate and turn into cheese. And so this enzyme rennet itself is for the last 30 years made from microbes by using precision fermentation. It's made in a very similar way that we're using to make our casein. Will making a vegan cheese be enough to persuade cheese lovers to make the switch to a plant-based alternative? There is some very emotional response people have to cheese. It's like this indulgence product, whereas with you know yogurt or milk, a functional or health product, and people are just kind of more willing to have other options. People preferentially do not want to compromise. And that's why we also say we want to use the same ingredients, but then made in a more sustainable way without animals, so that people have the product that they love to eat. 
and can also eat it in the future. There is a lot of problems with the industry itself as we're aware growing animals, mostly cows, industrially imposes a need for a large amount of land and water to be used. And what we're doing by using microbes to produce casein and to produce dairy products, we will require only a fraction of land and water that's needed for making traditional dairy products. So it's really like a no-brainer. This is the technology of the future.